All right, let's let's see where we can take this. Um, first thing I want to do is delete the armature. Okay, I just don't want it anymore. We're gonna rig Bob. We're gonna animate Bob. But I just wanted you to see uh, how easy it was to get an armature synced up. Um, now that you've done that, delete it. Okay, if you've done it once, you can do it twice. You can do it again. All right, again, repetition is the mother of skill. So get rid of that armature. Now, what are we going to need to do? Because we applied our modifiers, we need to create another mirror modifier. Okay, so let's select half of our mesh. Now let's delete those verts. Okay, and then let's tab into object mode. Let's add a mirror modifier, and there we go. Okay. Um, now, let's create a pelvic fin and a mini dorsal and an anal fin. Okay. So you definitely know how to extrude and inset and create new shapes. So what I want you to do is create the pelvic fins and the second dorsal fin and the anal fin. Okay. This shouldn't take you more than five minutes, 10 minutes tops. Okay. Go do that right now. Pause the video and go model the pelvic fins, the door, the second dorsal fin and the anal fin. Okay. And then come back to the video. All right, here we go. We've got, we've got second dorsal, anal and pelvic fin. Okay. So we got all the fins. Now let's build out Bob's eyeball. Let's go. Let's hit three and face select the six and then let's inset this bring that in we'll scale this in on the y a little bit we hit n let's see if we can make that a circle not bad we'll scale that just a scotch and now we'll just pull these out Okay, and then let's select our faces and extrude in. And now let's, we'll, we'll plug an eyeball in here momentarily. You know what, let's select this edge loop and let's bevel with control B to kind of create that curved edge. Okay, something like that. There we go. I like bevel. Bevel's a good way to get to to slow down hard geometry. Okay. Really just really just kind of smooth stuff out. Okay. Everybody save your work. Let's rip a couple of these just right in half. Okay, and we're gonna do that with V. V just rips them. Okay. So we just ripped. Here, you know what? Let me turn just so you can see what I'm doing. If you hit uh, the V key. You can you essentially separate. Um, you can separate geometry from itself, but you can see down here. I don't have clipping turned on from uh, my mirror modifier, so I'm going to Control Z out of that. Make sure clipping's turned on, and I'm going to try it again. Hit V, and it stays together. Okay. You know, what? let's just delete those and see what happens. Okay. Let's select this edge loop. And let's relax it over here. We'll hit relax, and that just kind of smooths it out. All right, let's extrude and then scale that in a tiny little bit. And then let's extrude again, and we'll just bring this back. Okay, now let's go into the shark. If you zoom in and you get to a point where you can't zoom anymore, hit the period key. And now you should be able to go inside, and then we can turn around and move move freely okay so now we're inside the mouth of our shark everybody with me all right we can try and make this uh, circle okay okay and if we hit extrude again back on the on the Y I think scale on the Y at zero clears that out okay very cool grab this on the Y and bring it back like so we should maybe do one more extrude on the Y like that and then let's extrude and scale that in 
So now, now let's connect these. Uh, with decent geometry. Okay, two, three, four, face. All right, and there's our there's our gullet. Okay, so we're gonna make uh, the gums. Let's make the gums of our shark right now. Okay, now shark teeth don't have roots, so they're not that uh, solid, right? They can shed again and again and again. And the gums are pretty awesome. There's just rows and rows of teeth. Like it's really, it's really an impressive structure. And this keeps their uh, teeth in place. And when they lose new teeth, assist with the replacement of teeth. And we, we need, we're gonna need to fix this geometry here. Um, but for the time being, let's get some gums in there. Okay, let's tap out into edit mode. And for Bob, let's go new object. Um, let's go UV sphere. Hey now. And let's scale this on the Z. Like that. Move it back on the Y. Grab it down on the Z. You see what we're doing? Okay, and now let's go into sculpt mode and smooth this out. Okay, and we can we can come over here, we can grab and we can pull it. Okay, and then let's go to object mode. We'll shift D to duplicate that. Let's flip it, so we'll rotate it 180 degrees, and then grab it on the Z-axis, up. Okay, and this will be our upper gum. And we'll, let's grab it forward. Okay, let's jump into sculpt mode again. Okay, just kinda, we're just kinda molding this into place. Okay, and now that we've got some gums, now we can make some teeth. Okay, so let's make some sharp teeth. You know, a shark has over 3,000 teeth in its mouth at any one time, and I'm, I'm just not going to model 3,000 teeth. Um, it might be a fun exercise to do procedurally, but, but, but for here and now, I'm just going to make some fun teeth and put them in my fun shark and just send Bob on his way. Yeah, I leave it to you um, to make this as real or anatomically correct as possible. If you want to model all 3,000 teeth, science bless you. Um, that is, that is a feat. All right. You know what? Let's create some teeth. Let's go shift a at a plane, rotate it on the X at 90 and scale it down. And we'll call this tooth. Now, great white teeth very famously are serrated. Um, we might get, you know, what? I think that'd be a fun thing to do to make these serrations. These are just going to be flat edged teeth. Okay. Like the, like the Meg teeth. Let's go straight down and scale that yeah, like that. And then let's create a loop cut down the middle here. Okay. Now, once we have that, let's shift D let's rotate that on the Z 180. So we kind of flip it like pirouette it. And then if you kick in a side view, you can grab this back on the Y. Okay, we can select all this, merge by distance. Okay, and it removes six vertices. That should be one, two, three on both sides. And then we can come up here and go one, two, three, four. Give that a face. And then we can come down here and just scale this in and then give that a face. Bring it about there, maybe scale it on the X a little bit. Okay, rotate it like that. Okay, and let's shift D. Let's rotate a little bit.
Okay. Now, let's add then a mirror modifier for our teeth and we'll try and okay there's one um let's go control a apply all transforms it's a second mirror we'll go third control a apply all transforms add another mirror okay let's go control a all transforms modifier mirror and Control A, all transforms, modifier, mirror. Okay. Okay, got some wild teeth. All right, top row. You know what? Let's clean this up. We'll call these top teeth. Okay, let's delete this, rotate it on the Z180. Flipped it now, rotate it on the Y 180. I think we can bring it down like this. And I'm pretty sure that plays. We'll pull this out. We'll do a new collection. We'll call the new collection bottom teeth. D and duplicate that. Let's get this into position over here. Okay, nice. And then let's add one more like that. We'll get this into shape. We got some teeth. We got a. Oh, you know what? Let's make the eyeball. In object mode, let's go Shift A, Mesh UV Sphere, forward. Let's uh, rotate this 90 degrees on the X, and then scale it down. And then let's grab it on the X right there. Do something like that. Just try and, you know, we're just going to try and fit the eye around. Around our model. And we can use proportional editing to kind of, to make it, to make it fit a little bit better. All right. And then we can come in here, we can right click, shade that smooth, and now it's very pretty. Let's call this eyeball. Nice, okay. Um, let's texture this son of a gun. 